better do it soon. Hello, hey, it's I see I am back with more of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh we are in Meridian. A massacre, if you can believe it. Meridian. We are are doing I don't know, something. Exploring at this point. Nobody minds if I take their money. Nobody minds. Everybody's rich here, obviously. Because they have got a very fancy city. Um, okay, so basically, I think... I think my first aim is to explore. Tell you what I like. Sound of hammer on steel. Um, explore, talk to the merchants. Find what there is to find. Oh, the hunting lodge. Oh. Yes. I've heard things about the hunting lodge. Let's do it. Oh, wait, a child. She gets back soon. Hi. I don't need a new friend. Okay. Sure, kid. I'll leave you alone. Trader. I'd like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. Oh, you are looking for artifacts. Talk to me? Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. Okay. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. Okay. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If yes. you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Okay. Uh, tell me more about you. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Okay. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. Mm. I see the appeal. Yeah. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Hmm. Tell me more about these Banuk so figures. Aloy goes to the Banuk Simple wood in sculptures the DLC, Onak, a which I will play hunter, eventually. Who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief? He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Oh. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. Yeah. I got some. You ready? Let's trade then. You ready? Let's trade then. Okay. Um. All right. Okay, so I need to get those ones. I see. All right, that sounds good. Is that it? Oh. Is that the same map that I've already got? Yeah, yeah, it's the same map. It's got the little icon. Okay. Um right. And you can just I can just sell stuff to you. Okay. Sweet. Come on back if you find any Banu goods. All right. Excuse me, Outlander. I'm looking for Banuk. Okay, so we have four quests here. All right, um, let's see what she gave us. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh oh, did I do something weird then? <gasps> Done something weird. Um. Okay, what did we get? Oh yeah, but they're only green. Oh, there's one blue. Okay. Um, look. Not terrible. All right. Artifacts. Oh wait, did you also have? Ah. No, you didn't. You just had silk. You didn't have normal stuff either. All right. Um. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Look, we literally just chatted. We literally just talked. Just that second. Hi. What about you? Dirty resin chunks. Okay, special items. 
All right, so I might be able to get... You there, Outlander? Do you have relics to trade? No, I do not. Come on. Literally, we talk to each other. Just a second. This is not a stairs to anywhere. Can I just get up there? No, I can't. Okay, fine. I pay well for Panook relics, Outlander. I know. Oh my god. Okay, so, um, kids. Kids here. Come take a look. I'll give you a village at the bottom. Interesting. The cards and nothing else. Steal to my soul. We'll teach him how to hold it. Okay. I seem to have. Oh, okay, that's her. So there's another trader further. Where is the other trader? Upstairs here, maybe? I'm a bit lost. Okay, well, look. Well, we have a quest up here. And. I don't know. Another trader there somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. Okay. Hello there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Not exactly. Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. Yeah. Uh, I, I only meant uh, oh. a well-molded woman such as you... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuke are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Oh, tell me more about the so rumor. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, but you mean most especially to him. Yeah. Girl, I'm not made of straw. Really? Your hair looks like it. <laughs> Sorry. What can you tell Personal me about insults. the Banuk? Not required. The Banuk women, snow witches all, cold eyes, cold. <clears throat> they choose to live up there see these Bangor, eyes in the ice they're cold too trying to have a conversation it's like chipping them out of the stuff they prefer machines for company that's why i'm At putting point, my shards on they're this not rumor. the only ones then they might not want outsiders to know about this place <laughs> their mystic act no care for possessions for luxuries pile of slag those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you mm. some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But oh. you send other people to do your exploring. Uh-huh. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. <laughs> we live in a you world are learning. You are learning. Risky opportunities. <laughs> But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? Pay somebody else for your risk. All right. I'm more of a gambler. Now we're coming to the truth of it. What do you if need? I did look into your rumor. You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. Anvil of and the moon? You look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true, he can they be walk trained. among machines without fear in this camp. Well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Okay. That actually sounds really interesting. And it is, in fact, only level 12. That's pretty good. All right, what have we got in here? Ah, okay, Fields of the Fallen is level 19. 
Oh, how is this still open though? Okay, so find Olin. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the Red Ridge Path. Okay, so I really do need to do all of these level 12 e 13 ones first. It's odd that it was a level 13 quest to get me here to um, wherever I am, Meridium. But it's a it's a lesser quest than the side quest. Oh well. Anyway, okay, so sure. That's one quest. All right, I need Can to I find. interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? Uh, nope. I have no idea where I'm going though. I mean, at this point, I'm just running around exploring. Uh, it's so hard to know where you're going. What are we seeing? Oh, there's a quest over here. Okay, what's this? Ooh. Terrible business that was. The raids. Oh, Asaram have been mining for scrap up north. The old ones sure left a lot behind. Ah, uh, no, this one. Oh, the quest over there. The Sun Faith. Okay, there's a book. Okay, the seven articles of the Sun Faith all over the world. Over the world, the world. Over the. Over all the world rises and sets the great sun, as is plainly seen. To all plants, animals, machines, and men, it gives life, as is plainly seen. Of all the tribes, none have scaled such heights as the Kaja, as guided by the sun. Witnessing these things to be true each day, celebrating these things each day, we believe in the sun and the light gladly and without question. Only the sun's rightful heir, born of the radiant line that dates back to the um, to, uh, Amam, Aman, the founder, is the speaker for the sun. To him the sun desires, sun's desires are revealed, and from his lips its desires shall acted upon by men. He shall be known as the Sun King, and his word shall be law. In all things we accept the Sun's judgment. We offer our bared skin to it so it might burn our sins away. Ow. Oh. Melanoma! Uh, we partake of its renewal. We wear its heat for a time. As our skin bears its flush, its bronze armor, we are made strong. In the cracking and peeling away of our old cells, we are made new. Our sunburners worship! No! That's... That's really bad! Anyway... In the sun's light, we shall speak only the truth, only in truth. We shall strike only in righteousness, and we shall act as we believe the sun so tasks us. When the shadow falls across us, we shall always remember our, our illumination. We shall not cast blame for ill fortune, we shall, we shall endure. In the coldness of the moon, we accept there will be stillness and death and endings, until dawn comes once more. We do this because there are two halves of nature, sun and shadow, and to, not, to deny one is to deny the whole of things. As twilight came before us, ending the world of the ancients, so a twilight shall come again. For this is the cycle of things. The buried shadow shall rise up to eclipse the sun's light and usher in a great terrible change. Even knowing this, we are steadfast in our belief and trust that the sun again will bring new dawn, as it did for our forefathers long ago. That is interesting. Holy Meridian shall forever be the seed of the Kaja city of the sun and the spire venerated as the mark of its founding a sunkin born of the radiant line shall always sit upon its throne but without a speaker for the sun its will is clouded for either of these things to be denied is to invite a twilight time upon us clearly the kaja are the children of the sun and preeminent in its gaze but so too does its light touch upon the barbarian tribes of the north east and south it is the speaker for the sun's duty to interpret if the sun's gaze is directed in approval or reproach so determined, it is the duty of the Kaja to carry out the sun's will, even in places where its light does not reach. Okay, so that's interesting. So is that like a philosophical... I won't believe um, this ceasefire. Philosophical granting to the Shadow Kaja? Who would that they are bringing about a change? From the old ones. The Osiron, that's it. Interesting. Hi, dude. How you going? You're Nora. Yeah. I'm the mournful Naman. Hi. My apologies that we meet like this. Like You're this? Like in what? In brief, you hold yours close, like a talisman. Yes. I Wait, see. forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. Uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I uh. see. Well. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. 
then I would owe you very much indeed. Tell me more. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Okay. So you want to help people remember and worship in their own way? What kind of obstacles? Tell me more. I will help you. The first you. pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel at a pool where snap moths gather. Yes. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines. And its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. A call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perched there, drawn to the spires shining. Oh. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Yes. All right. I will help. Rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but no. it can bring... But it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. Yes, Aloy. Don't you know this yet, Aloy? Don't you know this yet? I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Yeah, Sometimes why? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. Okay. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests. But yeah. you still wanted to be one? Mm. I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Ah. Oh. You wish to atone? Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. This is... This is very I'll good. I will do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Yes. 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 Oh, that's a fire. Okay. Um. All right. How do I get out of here? Go this way? Alright, let's go this way. Another quest. Hunting for the lodge. Is this the hunter's lodge? Oh, I believe this is the hunter's lodge. You need to win three half suns at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. I've done that, haven't I? Do you mean these? Huh? Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No. Mm -hmm. You're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. Okay. To join and become a thrush, 
You need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. All right. So I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've Except overcome more odds. For... Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should Assis! introduce you to us. Light. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. All right, let's do it. Level 16. Good enough. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're here. Let's do this because there's lots of talking going on. This could be a talky episode. Please excuse me while I dodge roll into your crotch. <laughs> Sorry. God. Hi. By the sun. King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. Oh, so I love you have marks for me. I love what do you mean? her from the hunting grounds. Things. Oh, right. We are new here. The eye makeup. God. What edict? Hmm. King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. Oh, but I like I Ursa and I haven't even met her. Rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Oh, are you a member? Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. Good. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. Good. Okay. What do you want with my marks? Yeah. You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Oh. Yeah, I thought that it yeah. your attention. <laughs> yes, it did. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. All I can give three you up of to the three trials? Weapons, one for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Okay. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. Okay. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Okay, so I have to do all of the trials. Ugh. What, a, what can I get? Okay, Lodge. Oh, Lodge weapon. Ooh, ooh! They're probably better than the Kaja ones, aren't they? The Shadow Kaja ones. Ooh, okay. Oh, the box. Same as always. Where's the box? Where's the box? Where's the box? The box somewhere. The box must be upstairs. Nobody minds if I walk on the uh, couch, do they? I expected. I'm an outlander and a Nora barbarian. Okay. Oh, something to read. Okay. Record of a red moor. What the hell's a red moor? It was a well known fact. Sorry, it's well known that facts recede into fictions as they become memories, and fresh facts themselves are ephemeral among the rumors and legends of the South. This is especially true in the case of Redmore, that most terrifying of Thunder Jaws, a machine which is nothing if not legendary. Few have laid eyes on it have survived, and among them even fewer can be trusted not to embellish their tales. Uh, all that, all that said, I have here I have endeavoured to truthfully chronicle all the calamities attributed to the beast, and all the expeditions meant to end such calamities once and for all. None have succeeded. As of this writing, the terror of the south still roams free, scarred perhaps, but as deadly as the day the sun first shone upon its armoured hide. In the early spring of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, a freehold was destroyed near the hands of the flood. Nine bodies were recovered, eight riddled with cannon rounds, one flattened completely. No witnesses survived. Though never proven, this is widely thought to be Redmall's first attack. In the late... Oh, I'm going to have to hunt this thing, aren't I? In the late spring of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, 
An expedition of four hunters set out from Sunstone Rock to trace the machine or machines responsible for the destruction of the Freehold. None returned. Their bodies were subsequently found in the south. Three blasted, one stomped. Never proven, but thought to be Redmore's work. In the early summer of the 18th year of the reign of Sun King Jiran, an expedition of six mercenaries set out from Meridian to track the machine or machines responsible for the losses described above. <laughs> one returned. Ribs crushed, clavicle fractured. He spoke of a thunder jaw, which split a man in half with a single bite. This is the first confirmed sighting of the legendary machine, and one which gave it a name. In the late summer of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, an expedition of eight set out for Meridian to track the Red Moor. None returned. Six bodies were found near Blackwing Snag. One blasted, three stomped, two eviscerated, one swallowed his own tongue, evidently in a spasm of terror, suffocating. <laughs> in the autumn of the 18th year of his reign, the Sun King Juran commanded the Hunter's Lodge to send an expedition south in pursuit of Red Moor. After numerous logistical delays, three hawks and their thrushes set out in winter. Only one pair returned, reporting the deaths of the others. Two blasted, one stomped, one decapitated. The survivors were sacrificed for cowardice. One gutted by a sword tooth, the other secured by kestrels. After this setback, members of the lodge grew wary of pursuing the legendary Thunderjaw. Only the proudest hawks even considered it. Aspirants to the lodge, however, foolish in their ambition, eagerly took part in subsequent hunts. In the summer of the 19th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, the destruction of the caravan south of the split of Spurflints, three blasted, one stomped, one immolated, re reignited interest in Redmore. Three expeditions, totaling 15 mercenaries, went after the machine, with only three survivors. Nine blasted, three stomped, two eviscerated, one liquefied. <laughs> in the early spring of the 20th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, a cohort of 12 soldiers headed from... Uh, from the uh, rain gatherers, headed from the rain gatherers to the alight, were set upon by the beast. Only one survived. One blasted, one stomped, ten crushed. When their fleeing footsteps triggered an avalanche. <laughs> In the late spring of the twentieth year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, three co cohorts, totaling thirty-four men, which doesn't divide by three, went in search of Redmore. Alas, they were ambushed by stalkers, and only four survived. <laughs> Four sniped, six exploded. Understandably, this ended the pursuit of Redmore for some time. In the summer of the first year of the reign of Sun King Avad, a group of six Oxaram traders were attacked by the beast. One blasted three stumps, one split, one spit into a ravine. The lone survivor petitioned Captain Ursa to send the vanguard after the monster, but the request was denied. However, three smart woman. However, three additional ex expeditions comprised of mercenaries and hunters aspiring to the lodge were subsequently commissioned. Autumn. Seven men. Two blasted, three stomped, one tripped on his own spear, one survivor. Winter. Nine men. Three blasted, two stomped, two died from frostbite, two survivors. Spring. Getting better. Nine men. Three blasted, two stomped, two died from frostbite, two survivors. I said that. Spring. Nine. Eleven men. Five blasted, one stomped, three retreated off a cliff. Two survivors. The last known sighting of Redmore occurred in the spring of the third year of the reign of Sun King of Ard. Tarkas, Hawk of the Lodge, got word of a sighting near Thunderhead and set off to take the beast on his own. His thrush, Talan uh, Talana, arrived at the scene too late just as Tarkas was dying of his wounds. Multiple perforations. Talana testified that as Redmore lumbered off through the trees, she could see the spear of her mentor embedded in its hide. Oh, she... So, a thrush, who is also a woman. Okay. Hi. Talk to Aziz. Excuse Light! Me. I'm going to do this all the time. The machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Mm-hmm. Huh. Tell me. Do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Yes. Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. <gasps> Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly Slap my better. Slap you in the face! Agent said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. 
Never the original know. Aziz is no. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. You're so quit blustering and tell me, is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Oh, we're gonna slap you hard. Gonna slap you really, really hard. I'm gonna steal all your stuff as well. On the book. All right. Legendary. Excuse me. For a Legendary hunts of the lodge. In the summer of the fourth year of the reign of Sun King Mazid, did Urukalis, Sun Hawk of the Lodge, behold a herd of grazers so vast that it can fill the entire vale below the far back. His bow was a harp that day, strumming the melody of the hunt from noon to twilight. After, one could not walk a single step across the glen without tripling on the antler of a, fall, antler of a fallen. It took all seven hawks and all seven thrushes to gather the trophies, and with the bounty from their barter, the last wing of the lodge was raised. What about hunting? Just for what you need, not for the slaughter. In the winter of the seventh year, the reign of the Sun King Hivas did Darusiv, Hawk of the Lodge, stalk a herd of tramplers from Sand, pa Sand Whisper Valley to the foothills of the Pale Reach. Bombs from his sling fell as hailstones, freezing his prey and the waters of the ford. While the others stood as statues on the ice, uh, Hivas sat upon the tar largest, driving his spear between its plates, taking his trophies before the rest could even stir. In the spring of the third year of the Sun King Juran, as the machines of the wilds grew ever more deranged, did Kuv 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 Kuvam Kuvam Hawk of the Lodge answer the call from the Prefect of Day Tower to slay the mysterious creature who ripped his best cohort limb from limb. Four days and four nights he tracked his quarry through the savage east before the brute was revealed as a strong snap jaw, fast as a strider. From twilight to midnight, the battle raged, but Kuvam prevailed at great cost. His left, uh, left arm chewed ragged at the joint. Thus, he named the beast Sawtooth as he took the trophy from its shattered remains. In the autumn of the eighth year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, as the machines of the wilds grew ever more deranged, did uh, Kal. Ga. Lidid. Hawk of the Lodge follow the shimmering. Uh, death haunting of the southern three holds, three holds into the jungles of the jewel. Under that tangled canopy, the hunter became the hunted, glimpsing in the shadows more of the eerie light. Still, he was surrounded by machines he named Stalkers. Long was his fight through the undergrowth to the safety of the alight, but along the way he turned his, his bow to his pursuers and became the first to snare a trophy from that which walks in glinting shadow. Too much talking, maybe? Uh, in the summer of the 13th year of the reign of the Sun King Juran, as the machine of the wild grew ever more deranged, did uh, Asis, Asis Light, Hawk of the Lodge, dare to tread the path of broken trees, following in the wake of the terrible thing that laid waste to the freehold of morning light. And, and so he was first to face the might of the Thunderjaw, greatest of the machines to walk the earth. With spear, bomb, and arrow, brave Aziz fought to no avail and only triumphed by turning the terror's own cannons against it. Carcass of the beast now hangs in the lodge for all to see, and so enshrined became because its fall turned, turned hawk into sunhawk. I see. I see. I see. There it is. Yes. Can it be scanned? No. Alright. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. The sun shines on those who mind their own, so they say. Okay. And if you're Artesians, why are you in here? Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Ah, there's that box. Thank you. Can I? Well, I can certainly look at the view. What do you say? 
the door and walk into other people's homes uninvited? Yes, yes they do. And they take their stuff. So there. Alright, so we need to find Talula. Was that her name? Talia? Somebody. Sunfall this very moment. Oh, did I get this one? Oh, I don't think so. What's this one say? Bylaws of the Lodge. The hunter's the noblest pursuit in the Sundom. Savor those of the Sun King and his priests. The hunter's strength, the hunter's honor, the hunt protects, the hunt preserves. What is the hunt but competition? What is competition without rank, honor, and victor? The lodge lends lore and lore to the hunt so all will know who has prevailed thus the lodge is not just its members and not just its house and meridian it is the spirit of the hunt a code to be honored an ideal to be lived only those of the noblest bloods can employ the noblest ideals as such only carja males of pure blood may honor the lodge and treat it in its house by order of the radiant avad 14th sun king of the carja by law 5 of section 1 it's hereby rescinded uh, no hunter shall gain admittance to the hunter to the lodge without three half sun, one with honor at any hunting ground. There are two classes of member: hawk, thrush, ring of thrush can only be gained through sponsorship of hawk. Uh, there are going to be seven hawks, a thrush can only have a hawk through the death of its sponsor. Well, that's that's just asking for trouble. Like honestly, that's asking for trouble. The hawk who hunts the greatest prey shall become sun hawk and lead the lodge. Uh, see, in the event of the quality of the prey is in dispute, the hawk who hunted first shall re shall remain first as sun hawk. Only Kaja males of pure blood may become thrush hawk or sun hawk. Rescinded. Proof: The greatest hunts often bear no witness. Therefore, a trophy must be kept. A trophy must be submitted to the sun hawk as proof. A trophy must be intact, undamaged, and from a recent hunt. Sunhawk shall have final authority. And the Kaja blah blah males blah blah blah. God, they just want to rub it in, don't they? The hunt is for its own sake noble. The hunt is in the service of the others blessed by the sun. Called upon, harks and thrushes must undertake any reasonable hunt asked of them if it serves to protect citizens of the Sundom. The Sunhawk has sole authority to negotiate fees or bounties associated with the hunt undertaken by members of the lodge on behalf of the Sundom. Any profit from the hunt Undertaken by members of the lodge on behalf of the Sundom shall be shared by all seven hawks administered by the Sun. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. For the purpose of the training and recruiting the best and greatest hunters, the lodge shall provide and maintain hunting grounds. So the guys who are at the hunting grounds are not thrushes and are not hawks. There should be three rewards for each trial. Hunters who prove themselves by winning the requisite number of sons entitled to a special gear. Special gear. Uh, the Lodge should provide the funds for the construction and maintenance of all trials and facilities. The hunting grounds receive all profits. Profits received, shared by the Hawks. Keepers shall be chosen exclusively by the Sunhawk and serve a term of seven years. Kaja males, blah blah blah, rescinded. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so let's find the person who is going to sponsor us. Is she upstairs? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi, Talana. Here, Talana. I see. Said you were a hot without a Sorry. fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay. I've dealt with worse. Mm-hmm. Mm I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. Oh. What's wrong? What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Mm. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk. Then no one can deny you brought it down. Aziz! Aziz. What's Light. his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> Sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? 
I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever okay. hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a sun hawk. Mm. How okay. does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place. No matter how anyone feels about it. Okay. So... Who is this Legan? The man at the door. Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. What about his thrush? Then? Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. Hmm. Okay. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Yeah. And speak to them in their language. I do. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make a sea spoil. Oh, I like it very much. Uh, okay. Right, okay, so anything I've already got bought does not count. Okay, alright, so that was that then. Um, okay, let's not select that as a main quest because that's just gonna get. Uh, confusing. All right. Now, specialty merchant. The only problem is I don't know which merchants I've talked to already. Oh, okay. Hang on. That's her. No, wait. Are there two of you down there? Check out these wares. Wait. Did I talk to you? No, I did. You're the person who had the junk. The, best the junk was weird. Okay. Oh, what about up? What's Nothing. Nothing is up. Okay, right. Uh, I don't know where I am now, I guess. Okay, right. Oh, I missed this before. Oh, that's the guy who gave me the little quest. Okay, that's the Sun Lodge. What's over here? Hunting Lodge, I mean. Ooh, plus. But there. But there. Something green. Give me the green thing. Okay, another specialty merch over there somewhere. I'm assuming most of these places I can't actually get in. Which is, which, which is fine. It's just for decoration. It's okay. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. What have you got? Oh. <gasps> You've got a bellow back heart. Oh, 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 you've got a belly back heart. Oh, okay. Was it belly back? Gosh, I can't remember. I need a belly back heart for the Could super spare sneaky a armor. To speak of the finer things? Sure. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? Yeah. An adventurer. I used to be one myself. Till you admit, took an arrow in I the knee. I the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, <gasps> I wonder so if you've sorry. come across a very special kind of flower. Yeah. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. Do you just? Okay. Tell me more you about you. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Mm. Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet, but the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. Hmm. No arrow to flowers. the knee, An arrow what to the heart! Exactly? No one knows, oh my God. but some say they That's began so sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. 
Oh. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? That is interesting. Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next. Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Mm. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Okay, sure. Oh. Oh, I need. Oh, okay. I need all ten. All right. Fine. Farewell. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Okay. Um. All right. We have one quest person. Where? Up. There. Everyone needs a Stairs? splash of color in their lives. Some Come, girl let's talk it over. The other day. Amazing. Yeah? No, not real stairs. No, invisible stairs. Okay. How do I get up to that last quest? Oh, and there's a box here somewhere. Oh. But there's a book. Do some sticky baking. Mad Sun King. Okay, the reign of the Mad Sun King. We warned reader that the true account of the Mad Sun King Jaran's acts these glyphs of blotted blood. Truly, the savageries committed can barely be recounted, so pray that the cleansing sun you're for yourself are the teller of these tales. You will learn of the grievous wounds inflicted upon foreign lands and the reaping of sacrifice, the red raids. For the Mad Sun King would order a whole generation cut from each village that they might more willingly supply sacrifices and be harder pressed to help field fighting men on the next raid. The Utara, who sought to appease with gifts of grain, were slaughtered in such numbers that upon the following harvest, the maize grew black and blue with the blood of the dead. Against the Osaram, the terror of the sun piled the corpses of the fallen up to the walls of their villages, so that his kestrels might clamber upon the dead to enter. And in the valley of the barbarian Nora, the terrors of the savage east, such savagery ensured that the trees were drooped with corpses hung as grim warnings. Should you wish to read of the Mad King's depredations against his own people, your curiosity will go will not go unsated. Within are accounts of the deaths of those sentenced to the Sun King Ring, to the Sun Ring, listed in such detail, you might think it reported by their own clattering skulls once piled outside the city gates. Nor will you find a more harrowing account of his massacre at the Hunter's Lodge. Reading these accounts, you might imagine yourself among its brave hawks as they fought to the last, bloodying the sand from dawn till dusk, or perhaps in the crowds as the loosened behemoths careened through the stand with the crashing of wooden bone. All this crazed bloodletting did the mad Sun King take in with his pitiless gaze. Indeed, he would not even look away from the goring of his own son in that ring of death. Yes, barehead Kadaman. Uh, Kadaman of the Dawn's Rising, so degraded and doomed for the crime of standard, standing against his father. Such a true and complete account of the mad Sun King Duran's miseries cannot be found in the history of the annals, or heard from the reckoners of the Sun Priests. It is with a heavy heart I scribe these events, leaving out no shocking detail, but my debt is to history, to you, brave reader. It's not good! It's not good. All right. Um, I have no Some idea where I am. You least expect that cause you trouble. Another book. I have another sticky beak. What's this one about? A liberator liberation. Okay. The liberation of Meridian. An official count ascribed by the reckoners of the Sun Priest and marked with the emblems of truth by exacting Varan to witness these events. In the 21st year of the 13th Sun, 13th Sun King Duran's reign, in the twilight time of his madness, the Sun King's own favoured heir was put to death. The radiant Kataman's crime was to demand an end to his father's act of bloodshed, and his sacrifice set that end in motion. Duran's second heir, the radiant Avad, fled Meridian at dusk with his honor guard, his soldiers loyal to him over the Sun King. All night they travelled northward, knowing that come the dawn they would be branded as traitors and marked for death. So it was that when Juran made the proclamation, they had already travelled far, and in that time they did reach the edge of the Sundom and crossed into Osram territory. For Avad was canny and planned to negotiate terms with the Osram, 
He knew he had an ally among them, Ursra, a fierce Osram warrior with whom Avad had a long and unusual history. Two years earlier, Ursra had been brought to Meridian as a captive, destined for sacrifice, but she survived the Sun Ring, killing two Kestrels by her own hand. Thus she did earn the honour of being made a Pound slave, and in this role came to know Prince Avad, and a rare friendship was formed. And Avad conspired to free his friend, who returned at once to the Osram home, homeland. Now desperate for allies, Avad sought out the Osram he had once helped to free. Ursra had ties to the warlords and freebooters who resisted the Red Raids. With Ursra's might and Avad's keen strategy, they could raise a war band and move to overthrow Jiran, and a rightful heir to the throne as and as the rightful heir to the throne of the sun, Avad hoped to inspire many of his people to rebel, so sparing Meridium from a drawn out war. After months of preparation, Avad and his allies crossed the border and marched on Meridian. As word of their advance spread, many Karja soldiers fled back to the city, laid down their arms, or even joined in the Liberators. Uh, yet wise Avad knew that Jiran's faithful would defend Meridian to the last man, even sacrificing the lives of its citizens. If it would hold this holy city against siege, uh, he found Kestrels and city guards already set on the walls, ready to face arrow shot. But Avad's Osram allies had bought new weapons never seen beneath the sun, thundering cannons, strong as machines. Avad permitted them to fire the salvos on the outer wall, bringing down many defenders down with great carnage. As the smoke cleared, the liberators attacked in three groups. One scaled the wall beneath the Temple of the Sun, another took to the aqueducts of the palace, while the main force overcame the barricaded city gates with cannon fire. These were the final blasts fired at the holy city, as Avad forbade any any further destruction. In the streets, too many of in the, in the streets, too many scenes of brutality and chaos uh, played out to recount. Among the terrible miasma of blood and smoke, the Sunwing slave pits were opened and hundreds spilled out, desperate to escape. Many of Duran's supporters seized their chance to flee within this flood of unfortunates. The day had turned, and seeking his forces much reduced, Sankajuran ordered his trusted Kestrels to take uh, Itaman, his sole remaining heir from the city. Hellas, terror of the sun, cleaved a path through Meridian from east to west, striking down all in his way, ally and foe alike. The savagery of Hellas and his Kestrels could not be matched, and so it was that Itaman and his mother, the Dowager Queen Nasadi, and the high sun priest Bahavas escaped. Well, that sounds like a problem. Avad confronted Gerard in his solarium. He hoped his father would answer for his crimes honourably, but seeing that this could not be so, with great anguish he struck him down. As the murder of the true Sun King is an unthinkable act, and surely would plunge the world into shadow, Duran's death proved that the Sun had renounced his legitimacy. Yes, the Sun had turned to shadow on the throne of Meridian, and it was Avad's light that drove the shadow out to the west, for it remains so this day. So is the cycle of things corrected, in this the first year of the reign of the 14th Sun King, the Radiant of Avad. Hmm. Okay, so that sounds like a problem. Alrighty. Yes, indeed. That does sound like there's a problem. Okay, where is this last quest? Not far. Sun King Avad freed the people his father enslaved. Yes, he did. I can tell. Um, Nora, please, yes. I need to speak with you. Hi, I've come to talk, find you. You're Tell the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The yeah. Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. That's me. If only you'd use it to help me. A Maybe. thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Okay. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. Hmm. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Uh huh. Tell me about the sword. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely right. inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Thank you, sword. Me. That's not even why it's important. The twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his the, military the, service. The right. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. Who are the 
Todger and Shudder. Oh, so they're the exiles? How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Sure he did. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. That's a choice. Because he has a choice. what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Okay. Uh, all right, actually. That one sounds good. Uh, let's do that one. Yeah, that looks good. Um, okay, talk to the steward. Uh, hi. How you doing? You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in grey, clutching his sword. Dangly. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Alrighty. Drops of blood bleeding away. Alrighty. Follow the blood. Oh, and a box. A box of box. It's not enough to vandalize it. We should take it down. Yep, you should. You should absolutely. Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on. You're everything I'm not. Strong. Take a look brave, at active. Wears. Come, talk a spell. Okay, what do you want for the Okay. Crystal braid, and it's a heavy. Protect a heavy. Bellow back. It is actually a bellow back. Let me make a little note so I don't forget. Okay, so I could just go and buy that off that other guy. And I know it's not an efficient use of shards, but it doesn't matter. Okay, where's the other guy? Buy what you need, leave the rest. Is it you? Yes. Hi. All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander. Yes. Which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels? Emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? They consist yes, of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. Okay. Tell me more about you. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, too no, much information. No, no, I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. <laughs> Why are you sharing so much what information? What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? Yeah. I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel oh. was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. What have I got? Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. Well then, stop talking. Okay, what have I? Okay, so I'm missing the faro. Missing the sterling malkeet. I'm missing all of them. Okay. Cool. All right. Goodbye. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Sure thing. Perhaps your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? I let us speak of it. <sighs> dude, dude, seriously. Don't more blood. I'm still on the trail. Was it this guy? Oh, oh. Wait, what's in the mysterious box? Stranded figures, stranded shackles, stranded neck. What is that? Oh, that other merchant had those things. Charcoal burner's box, sculptor's box. Ooh, six desert glass. Oh, oh, all right. Well, okay. Well, I mean, we've got these things. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, sure, I'll get one. Just to see. So, yeah, okay. That's interesting. All right, let's see what we let's see what we got. Up. Oh. Bugger. Oh no. <laughs> Bugger. However, we did get one good thing then. Rocks. I got rocks. Okay. All right, so nice. Don't burn the kid. Still more blood. The thief got cut pretty bad. Okay, you're the one who sells that odd junk. Check out these wares. Trail You'll like here. what I have for sale. I promise. Someone must have the seen the thief. The ceasefire has to be a trick. The Karja and Shadow Talk will break it witnesses. when it's Hi, how are you? Oh, cutscene. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Why sure did. did. He grabbed Watch some up. linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Captain of the Vanguard? Murdered? Must have been those traitors Okay, go to the base of the stairs. All right. I definitely if the thief you. came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Well, no, he could have jumped off into the water, really. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Ah, interesting. Must be Did you. you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. Oh. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Which... Oh, you mean the merchant? Who was... He took the bandage. Not, not this merchant. Oh, the singing! Oh my god! There's plenty of work here, but none I like. Hi. Won't cost you a shard just to look. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere, like here, for instance. 
What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Jeez, uh, Aloy. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light Does in she? the darkness, so okay. I know you're interesting. Listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? Mm. I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Uh, okay. Yes, Aloy? Yeah, okay, sure. Let's go. Here's a breath of air from the bellows. Let's do it. Uh, if I just jumped off into the water, <sighs> is that something a Nora would do? <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. Very nice. Are there any fish here? Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Actually, are there any fish here? Should be. Oh, yeah, need fish to keep the water healthy. Alright. How's this work? Hi. I just want a moment's peace. Not the only one. Uh is this is this where I'm meant to go? No, further over. Or if I was there? Okay, I've just got work, gotta go up. Up and around. Oh, okay, back to here. Come on, jump! Thank you! This fire feels like a crate of blaze just waiting for a light. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at the lift! How amazing! Now what? Do I just... Do... Do I... Do I just wait? How does this work? I don't use elevator. No? Uh... Hello? There's a the counterweight. Okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. But like, can I use it here? What am I meant to do? Do I just oh I just have to wait? Oh okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, do I get to ride the actual elevator? Or are you gonna put me in a cutscene? Tell me I get to use the elevator. <gasps> Tell me I get to ride the elevator. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh. Oh, so cool. The waterfall. Oh my god. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Oh. That could have just... Like honestly, that could have just been a loading screen. Okay, that's so cool. Two for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what they were doing. Fine goods for a fair price. I've got all the best goods here. I'm sure you do. Unless you can sell me a you'll bellow back huh? Not when you're I'm in the not interested. It'll cost you a shard just to look. Today. See for yourself. Don't forget to stop. You'll re oh, these damn Osara. Stirring up tensions. Would you like to I'm buy keeping something? my eyes open. Take a look at these wares. Oh, more quests. You'll like all the best sales. Split with the shadow card. Nice. Don't pass up these goods. No, you're not the quest. Oh, where's the quest then? Don't cost you a shard just to check out these wares. Oh, find better wares. Don't pass up these goods. Okay, so these are all just Fine only the finest. Fair price. You'll like what I have. Not actual. Buy what you need. Leave the rest. Been here three times this week. Yeah. Still Take a look at these wares. Hi. 
Right, what have you got? Let's buy our... Corruption arrows! Wait, what are those? Shadow Warbow. I don't, I don't think I've had one of those yet. Now let's get out. Free sample box. These aren't good. Come take, take a, a look, look at these I'll give wares. you a good price. Metal bot here. Good prices. Fair good prices. Hi. You'll regret not stopping. Fairest prices for machine oh. parts under the mesa. No tithes to the sun court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying. No better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Really? Silent partner. Really? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. Mm. Which... What part is so it which, you want? Um, no market for a snap maw lens. It's good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Hunting oh, trials? Oh, son, lend me the strength of midday. <laughs> the sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, I'm standing around here. Uh, hello? I hello? I told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the mm. machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you <laughs> never found a sense of humor. <laughs> uh, enough. Yeah. Well, they're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes <gasps> to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just, Renine. Just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap maw lens. Fine. Uh. I can see that you're busy. Don't you wait, want to hear that? Wait, you drove her off. Snap maw lens. What do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Can't long you pay leg me for lens. Both? Hunters, scroungers, no bring us your metal. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? Okay, and there's another quest over there. Say agreed. I don't complain about your counting, other than it takes too long. I wouldn't have. God, you guys are annoying. Don't forget to stock up. Where? Over there? Would you like to buy some things? My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? Alrighty. Hi. Hi. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. I can be here for you. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. Mm. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A ravager. By the sun, how it I cut down those ravager. guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Father never saw this coming. I'm not Tell sure me I trust more him. about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures... Sorry. But what about the people there? Yeah. Of course. Their lives are all that matter. Uh -huh. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. Do you? I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. Right All right. So... 
Check out these wins. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think I might have. Oh, whoops! No, Aloy, can't jump underneath. You'll hit your head. Try this side. I think I might have now explored all of Meridian. Picked up all the quests. Picked up probably most of the treasure boxes. And then basically, I need to decide if I want to go back upstairs and get uh, that cool armor. Is there anything else down here anywhere? No. There is the Don't quest. Don't forget to suck up before you're on the road. The quest. Oh, across. Okay, so it's on the other side. Okay, cool. Um, where am I? Oh, I see. I'm actually down here. Oh, I could have approached Meridian from this side too. Oh, so I could have actually come into Meridian from from underneath, but I came in from the top. Ah, cool. Cool. Well. I actually think that might do. Um, that seemed like a good spot to leave in. We will pick it up next time, continuing that quest. I know this is a fairly slow episode. Sometimes you just need talking ones. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have not, please do consider subscribing here on YouTube. It's free. Please also consider following me on Twitch, where I stream four days a week. Details below. It's also free. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.